on the onset of COVID, like everybody had to flip the script on like trying to figure out how to keep their live production happening, right? So a lot of what we did was try to figure out like what are the the, the right high quality protocols that we should be gravitating towards. You know, uh, there's all kinds of sort of decision points that have to be made throughout the course of the show. Um, and how do we connect all the components of that show together in kind of a cohesive manner? So we used a lot of NDI in our cloud-based production workflow to basically tie everything together because we could get, you know, high quality, high bit rate transport amongst all of the kind of core components in our AWS workflow together between graphics and replay, the actual uh, main switchers, our master control environment, the ability to, to take and uh, uh, shim like singular graphics into that, whether it was virtualized Viz Trio in the cloud. And we basically surrounded it by this NDI workflow uh, that allowed us to do, also do scan work from player PCs sitting in the cloud. We call them observer cameras, but essentially they're the, the virtual camera that flies through the map that kind of tracks the action during the course of a, an esports match. We were using a lot of Parsec to log into these machines. So we weren't having to deal with local internet issues, but NDI was the main feed into a lot of our production switchers uh, for this particular purpose. We use SRT for more or less the lightweight contribution that we brought casters and other desk talent into our live, you know, kind of production workflow environment, converting it to NDI as it came through, as it hit the switcher. So we kind of looked at it as, NDI is great when you're on a kind of local area network kind of provisioned environment, like you would be in a physical studio somewhere, but also SRT gave us the ability to do low latency kind of light lift uh, in high quality for people sitting in their houses and bedrooms and apartments all over the place that really the ISPs that they have at their house is really geared towards a consumption model and not necessarily a contribution model. So that you may have 200 megs down, but you only have 15 up. So how do you get that contribution out? So SRT was really the, we couldn't have done that with NDI anyways, with at least with NDI 4. NDI 5 kind of opens up the, the boundaries for us to actually do WAN routing uh, and, and potentially compete again with some of the like Sienna type software that's out yeah. there today that allows us to go from cloud to cloud or from ground-based productions to cloud uh, to do some of that contribution and, and workflow management. But I, we see NDI and SRT as two different protocols for two different use cases entirely. So it's hard to come up with an analogy for that when kind of NDI is your, your core infrastructure uh, and SRT is kind of like the, on the outside, uh, allowing you to do high quality contribution. 